and welcome to the 210th video on my channel where I'm creating my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the sixth video in my home assistant playlist, and today we're going to be installing a Rio Link Wi Fi doorbell. So I couldn't find a deal on Amazon that was better than going straight to the website. And I was getting free shipping on the website and not and on Amazon we have Prime, but I was saving a couple dollars. I just had to wait a couple more days, which was okay with me. And so I went to Wi Fi video or shop video doorbells and then clicked the real link video doorbell Wi Fi. Alright, this is the one I picked right here. I just got the black one. And so I would have loved to have a power over ethernet camera. I wish my whole house was power over ethernet, but it's not. And so mine was actually cheaper than this. This is similar to how Amazon works, is that these, these are uh, variable, the, the prices are variable. And so with tax and shipping, well, for shipping was free, it came to $89. So you're just gonna have to check it yourself or I would check Amazon and then so this is what I bought make sure you're um, clicking the right one right there's a difference between the doorbell Wi-Fi which can hook up to your Ethernet but it won't have the power over Ethernet or go to doorbells and find the power over Ethernet doorbell and so this one's cheaper and it comes with this right here, this chime. So this is uh, allows you to play with the different chime rings and volume. All right. So after you purchase it, whether you purchase it from Reolink, and I am not sponsored by Reolink, I would love it if they contacted me and offered a sponsorship. But uh, I am not sponsored by them. So either find it here or on Amazon. All right. So let's check out uh, what it looks like when you receive it. All right. So we received our real link Wi-Fi camera it comes with the SD card that we ordered this little instruction booklet this is what it looks like here so we have the Wi-Fi plug-in right here just like the other things that we've connected to our home assistant. And then we have this real link, the actual device itself. Now, like I said, I bought the Wi-Fi one. And so it's gonna, this will be our LAN to set it up, but I don't have the power over ethernet option. Right. Now it looks like this is the power cable, I'm assuming right here. And here are the, connecting devices and then we have an ethernet cable of course some additional connectors the mounting bracket that goes to different types of doorbell right here like that and then screws with uh, spacers in it as well and then we have another cable here so then we i don't know if you can see my cat but they're always interested when i record youtube videos so we open up the instructions and here is a drill guide that comes frequently with these type of electronics and then an operational instruction and the quick start guide. So it comes in with what's in the box. And to start off, it says to scan the download real link app from the app store, which we've already done. And then power on the video doorbell. And so for this, I need to make sure the, I have the cables like this because we have the Wi-Fi one. 
And then it says to power on the video doorbell. And then launch the real link app. So let's connect our doorbell to the DC power and then we'll turn it on. All right, so we have plugged in our real link camera. So that is a hot wire right there. And so we have the Wi-Fi version, so it's connected directly to our wall power. And I'm trying aggressively to get my cat out of the way. Welcome to Reolink. Please install Reolink app and scan the QR code on the camera. Willkommen bei Reolink. Bitte Reolink app installieren und den QR code auf der Kamera scannen. Bienvenue à Reolink. Alright, so I believe these are going to go through the different languages of welcoming us. And as you can see, it says to scan this QR code like the other real link. So let me switch to my camera and do that now. All right, so I'm outside in my fuse panel and I had to do some experimenting because nowhere in here does it say foyer or front door. But I realized that my garage lights is the one that controls the foyer and I'm praying that it affects my doorbell because I'm about to unscrew it and check it out. So make sure you've turned off your fuse before you start the next process. Here is my doorbell. It has two screws. So I'm going to try to unscrew this and check out what it looks like. All right, so here's what it looks like unscrewed. So I, uh, I don't have a multimeter, so I'm going to try and disconnect these and pray I don't get electrocuted. So hopefully we'll see you in a second. Okay, so we have this bracket right here which goes to the wall. We have this metal bracket here that connects this to your doorbell. And before we get started, just make sure you enter, you put in your micro SD card. I noticed that wasn't in the steps. And so first we're going to install this one right here. 
using the screws that it came with and then we are going to use this and then this one so i'll show you what that looks like all right so i got the first bracket done make sure you pull the wires through the thing i did have to drill for this bottom hole because it was not aligned with the old plug so now let's put on the other bracket all right so now we have the second bracket make sure this top part is on top and again make sure you pull the wires through that one as well and now we can connect the actual doorbell all right so now it is on and unfortunately it was the power was hot but i just was very careful when i was screwing in the connections to make sure it doesn't hit and so now we will go to the phone and test it out here we go All right, so the last part is the chime right here. I think this is actually upside down. And so there are buttons on the side that lets you control the volume. And the volume. pretty much it now one thing is I'm not sure why or if I have a setting but it did replace the chime that comes with the house so that no longer rings with the doorbell and so it has defaulted to the chime that comes with the device all right so now that we have it all set up now let's uh, connect our doorbell to our home assistant software now. Okay, so the last step of installing our camera is to install it into our home assistant software. And so for this, uh, we've already installed one real link camera that I decided not to pursue. And so you'll need hacks for this and you can watch that video by clicking here. So once you've had the real link custom integration installed, by following the hacks. Now you can just go to settings. You can go to device and services. And then you can go to add integration here. Type in real link, which you should have now. And we're gonna click the IP NVR camera. Type in the username and password you set up when you set up the camera. And then for the host, you're going to need the IP address. So let's check that out real quick, how to find the IP address on the app. So go ahead and click on the doorbell camera, then click on the wheel icon, then click on the doorbell, and then click network info, and there's your IP address. So go ahead and type that into Home Assistant. Okay, so now that we have the IP address, let's type that in real quick. Now, you may get an error on this, so click Advanced and then proceed to this because you are connecting not a secure connection. And then we can go here, go to Network, go to Advanced, Port Settings, and go ahead and open these. There we go. So now we have all of our port settings, which will allow the Home Assistant to connect to it. Let's save. All right, it's refreshed. Make sure it still connects. And it does.
So now you can exit out of this, come back, go to add integration, type in real link IP and VR, retype in your password, and then type in the IP address that we just clicked in. Okay, create a configuration for doorbell. We found the devices. Um, let's, I'm going to add a new area. Let's call it front door. Add, finish. There we are, a real link IPR and VR camera. Doorbell, one device and 14 settings. And so now you can see that there is quite a bit of information on here. And so as you can see, it says add to dashboard. See, these are all the options you have, scenes, scripts. We can use Home Assistant to email us or push notifications to us. and motion sensors, all of this right here. We can add that to our dashboard if we wanted, right here. Or we can go to add dashboard, add card. Doorbell, all these different things that you can use. So I'm assuming that is the camera right here. That is the doorbell sub continue All right add to dashboard and now we have that on our dashboard but this is not the dashboard I want to use for now this is just a, so I have my garden. If you want to see how I connected my water, my garden automation, you can click on the video here. And that's what this tap timer is right here. So now that we have two uh, smart home devices, so our smart home irrigation system and this doorbell, uh, I think it's time to create a real dashboard and to get a device so i'm thinking about buying the raspberry pad the ras pad and we'll create a custom dashboard that we'll actually use to control our two devices before we, before we go any farther so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope the doorbell meets your needs real link if you're watching this holler at me and thanks for watching goodbye world